Welcome back to the PwC channel once again. Today we have, ano have another Hoenn League match, and it is between Karakasa and KW Dog123. And I am joined for commentary by SMO, aka Scary Monsters Hi. Over Heaven. Hi, oh. SMO. Hello. And also Prof is with us today. Hi, Prof. Yo, KW brought fucking Graph Locked. Yeah, that is... he did. <laughs> like, like, you know? I can see on the uh, team preview, his first one was Electros, where he was like, yeah, Signature, then Spectra, he saw that, and then Garchomp, and then he went, yo, now I'll go fucking Gravlock, no one like, will expect that one. <laughs> That's really yeah, strange um, to me as well, because uh, yeah. Karakas has he got fucking Slowbro. Sword, Slowbro and Decidueye, <laughs> so they are, oh, and also yeah. Tapu Koko, so yeah, that's a little bit surprising. Looking uh, real quick what Grablock can do, because I'm very confused. I mean, it gets um, knocked off, and it gets some strange move that only it gets. Yeah, but like, still... Yeah, it gets it what has Waterfall. It that. What's the move called, SMO? Octolock. Lock. Okay, what does it do? It, it traps. Uh, it doesn't do any damage, but at the end of every turn, they get minus one defense on special defense. Ah, so that might oh, yeah, that yeah, might yeah. be interesting. That might be interesting. So that but, would be but, that would be potentially forget. useful against Gliscor or Slowbro if he has moves to hit it. Maybe yeah, but the problem is is, Yeah, but if uh, Slowbro has a psychic move, he doesn't yeah. take two. Yeah. Karakaisa probably has um maybe maybe a U turn on Gliscor, U turn on Sidra, U turn on uh, uh teleport and Slowbro. I think the only thing that he can trap with that is a Rampardos, which Karakasa told me that he actually thinks that, like, and I see that as well, Rampardos in his team is amazing because he can get that in so easily. So, um, yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of good pivots for it. So that, that's would that And also, would that even be what he would go for if it was Graplock versus Rampardos? Would he not just click, like, yeah. like Dragon Ball Combat? Yeah. So yeah, this, I mean, this... maybe. Maybe he just wants it because let me look at his team, uh, because Karakaisa has P two and yeah yeah it's kind of hard to remove for him like except maybe uh yeah yeah I see that I see that it Quick. gets sucker punch it can sucker punch the decidui maybe and... does it also get knockoff I thought so no I, no it does not knock off. Ooh, it does not... This is so interesting. I'm definitely yeah. super interested to see what this crab lock is okay. gonna do. Oh yeah, um, I always forget. Yeah, but um KW, I love Mega Garchomp. Mega Garchomp is amazing, I really like it. And I'm I'm actually very happy to see what he's going to do with it. Because yeah. Yeah, I mean, a, a sword stance variant would definitely be very annoying for Karakasa to deal with because yeah. Tapu Koko doesn't really sword one shot. Sword is amazing against Karakasa, I would say. Like, you can get that off against Gliscor and the Sidroi, and maybe on a Rampardos if, like, he's locked into some move and he still wants to keep it. So, um, yeah. Also, I'm and just gonna say that the um, what's the Golisopod doesn't look too bad to me because it hits both Slowbro and Gliscor, so the physical defense of Karakasa. Yeah. So that's and he can okay. use Mark against the P2. It's very good to break his team. But on the other hand, um, I mean Rampados is slower. No, it's actually faster than Yo Rampados kind of speed. Like Golisopod only. Against Coco, maybe Coco can revenge it. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not a problem to revenge it because it is so slow, but yeah. Oh, that is, All right, that so is good. That is good. We do see a no recovery for the Electros. That's interesting. Yeah. Running Toxic on Electros because you would probably assume that Gliscor would be the first switch in, or at least that's what I would have assumed. But yeah, maybe yeah. Rakasa was fearing the uh, knockoff, so that's why he not didn't switch mm -hmm. into Gliscor. But also, I wouldn't um, switch into Gliscor now because it might as well be that um, KW clicks the knockoff now if he has it. Yeah. 
Yeah, by the way, they both started with their signatures, kind of hype. But, um, yeah, I see that. I see the Toxic. I think he has Toxic on some of some of his Pokemons because um, it breaks, it's, it kind of breaks Slowbro and P2. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, like, he doesn't have a clearing. Maybe, That's definitely good. So, yeah. Yeah, that is, that is like the one thing about... Right, um, and he, by the way, team. reveals to be Silvally normal. So oh, yeah. What the hell? Yeah. KW Dog is, is running the heat today. <laughs> He's bringing Graplock and Silvally normal as well as Golisopod <laughs> and Spectria against the P2. <laughs> so, yeah, that, this is. I'm this very is... interested to see what this Silvally will do. It's. Yeah. It's. Like, it can literally be anything. It can be lefties, assault, west, scarf, bands, specs, life, or evil. It's. Uh, yeah, I would be so, so disappointed. Isn't... I would be so disappointed if we saw an item here like lefties. I wanted to be yeah. mysterious. Yeah, no, it area. can't be lefties, right? Because that's like. That's yeah, if he if no, he's lefties, let's just lefties. leave and lefties don't even count the match. But uh, yeah. And I'm hoping it's like a choice item. I think. That that would make sense. Maybe choice scarf. I don't know. For those U turn, or maybe choice span. Yeah, for maybe multi attack would be potential. Yeah. So Valley and Draft is like very good with those many types you can choose from. Uh, it's always going to be uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. It it looks a lot better on paper than it is in practice. I've had it twice so far, and both times I did. I barely even brought it in any week because it's a little bit underwhelming. I mean, sometimes when a po opponent has a team that's really poorly built, then it can be useful as an attacker. But if you're going to use it, you're mostly going to use it as a defensive pivot, or at least that's what I've. Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. oh, that was... oh, there we go, the Rampardos. So the only switch in I see is probably the Garchomp. I don't know if it gets Ice Punch, but um, other than that... Probably, like, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. The boy it doesn't get Ice Punch, it does get Avalanche. Ah, Avalanche, yeah, so he would probably run that on this set, I would assume. Yeah, but no, he can just go for the Head Charge, I would say. I mean, no, maybe. Uh, I mean, yeah, well, Karakasa doesn't been. want to take too much damage on his Mega Garchomp, probably because it is really good. And it probably wants to be able to live a Dazzling Gleam by the Coco. So yeah, that's something. But... Uh, damn. Um, Moonlight and Yuno are fighting right now. But, uh, Oof, yeah. And it is faster than the Silvalli and it has super power. <laughs> then, it's w, that just then it's Scarf. Yeah, it must be Scarf. Yeah, then it's uh, Scarf Rampardos with super power, probably Earthquake. Uh, because of the uh, electro. Yeah, I mean, it might also just be a defensive Silvelli and the Rampardos. Is, yeah. Uh, Max I mean, Jolly. That yeah. could also be the case. The boy yeah, picks maybe. up the first kill, and KW just says "ouch" in the chat. So yeah, <laughs> gotta love Rampardos conquering the yeah. low tier. Rampardos pot. It's just kill ranking. yeah. Yeah, it definitely has Earthquake, because that'll be... Because that's the reason to bring Mold Breaker. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Alright, but All right. there goes the Big Band Archom. So, KW kind of has to pull off something big here in order to make a comeback now. <laughs> because it's not obvious from the start how he's going to do it. So, he's just going to set up Stealth Rocks. Hmm. I mean, that's at least something. We see the ice beam on the slow bro. By the way, this Electros was carrying carrying Aguaf Berry. What what's Aguaf Berry? Is this the um, HP restore? Hey, fifty percent berry. Ah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's a little that's annoying not having it. Yeah. Um, but Stavrogs, I mean. Oh uh, yeah. He has like yeah. three potential defoggers. I would assume that yeah. Decidue is always the most likely likely one to carry it, because Gliscor and Tapu Koko both have a little bit of four move slot syndrome and like to have their hands free to do other stuff. 
Yeah, um... It's kinda not looking too good for KW Dog already. Discharge. Okay, um... So, I noticed that uh, Karakasa really doesn't... Uh, is really reluctant to switch his Gliscor in. I wonder what kind of set this is. Might be an offensive set, maybe. Super Fang on the Tapu Koko. So yeah, <laughs> KW Dog is really running a super heat team here. It's a little bit disappointing that uh, it seems to not work out for him so far. I wonder what that Super Fang... I guess it's to hit P2? Probably, because you won't... You, yeah. you go for an electric move, it's just slow, bro. Yeah. I guess Glyscott, maybe. Huh. Don't know. But yeah, at this point, it seems like Caracas is sort of cruising to the win here. All of his... Yeah. Things, apart from the Tapu Koko, everything is still at super good health. The Decidua is toxic, yeah. but also almost at full. And yeah, so this yeah. Decidui, and uh, not Decidui, Spectria has to pull off a miracle here somehow. Maybe... Um, yeah. With Grimnade is a hell of an ability. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe he got the power of Nikinator and just flinches the P2 the whole time. That would I be mean, something. you can kind of prevent P2 from recovering at least with Taunt. Yeah. So like, maybe cool. with Sub Nasty Plot, sh uh, I don't know. Dark nice. Horse Taunt. You're, not, you're not gonna break through. Oh. No. So he gives him the Coco here the on the speed tie. That's interesting. Okay, this is like now it's it's kind of good for the goal goal list of pot. It's I mean, also kind of good for Garchomp because nothing outspeeds him. Yeah, Garchomp yeah. is now the fastest mon on the on the field, apart from the potentially Scarf Rampados that you guys were mentioning. Yeah, but after the scale shot, that is also done with. Yeah, right? and he doesn't have a ferry anymore with... as well. So, yeah, yeah. Garchomp with four points would look okay. That is oh, this is the trap. This is the AV? trap waiting to happen. <laughs> but I mean, the teleport yeah. is still there, so it's not gonna work out. Yeah, and like now there comes slow bro. It's yeah, yeah. I don't know. So let's oh, let's yeah. see something. He does here. have it. He does have the octolock. And Karakasa, to be fair, has not revealed the um, teleport yet, so he might not have it. He might be trapped yeah. here. If he doesn't have it. That would be great for KW because... Oh, uh, yeah, Slogar. that would be really great because then yeah. the Garchomp can pretty much win, potentially. Yeah. Can set up on Decidueye or Gliscor or even Rampardos. Yo, Brutal, brutal swing. swing? What the hell is that? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't... Oh, oh, that crit was nasty, man. I think that... But now he can go into Garchomp, maybe? I don't mattered. know. Oof. I don't know. Oh, that crit... Yo. Yeah, that crit was kind of little swing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we still don't know the D guard from set so far. So, and KW says it's all good. It's all good. Well. Yeah. I mean, Gulai support really, really looks good now. Arch yeah. Have front, which would kill Slowbro at this point. Like he had the Slowbro would have to. Switch out if yeah it it would have to. I think even EQ might be able to kill the slow bro depending on the set. But he could also just go into Spectria, yeah, that that makes sense. But what I also notice is that the P two is looking pretty evil now for KW. Yeah. He doesn't yeah, really like... break it. He has to pull off a miracle to break this thing. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah, that is... Because it's gonna have Ice Beam as well. The move is yeah. so probably Ice Beam and Shadow Ball. So... Golizapod gets close combat. Yeah, I guess. Golizapod is definitely the um, win con now, or, or super important at least for KW Dog. But yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of looking like he really it's has bad, to pull yeah. off a miracle here to win this. So he goes into guard jump on the tri attack. So he reveals shadow ball and tri attack. So he might actually not have the ice beam potentially. 
because he thinks he can check the guard jump with Gliscor and Slowbro and even Decidueye which at least resists the earthquake but yeah the ducking king is looking like he might claim the throne here uh, indeed because it's really looking hard to break if it also has the ice beam then I think that's pretty much yeah G. I mean yeah okay so if Karakasa let's say he has the ice beam and Karakasa decides to stay in here that would have been a mistake because then it would be low and once the P2 is gone then Spectra just wins from here because even Scarf, yeah. even Scarf Rampardos does not outspeed the uh, Spectria. Yeah, Spectria just straight up wins against his team if he doesn't have, like, if the P2 dies, it is very bad this for him. This does 29%. Why does that do nothing? <laughs> Slowbro is so bulky, man. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have an item anymore. He had the call berry earlier. That would have, like, that would have made it fifteen if he'd. Yeah, that's insane. So yeah, let's see him do pull off a water move here. No, it doesn't. Which I guess the call wouldn't have made it fifteen because the call also would have boosted the power of the knockoff. But no, it does. Uh, I don't think that's true. I think the Cobra gets. Uh, consumed before the uh, yeah. damage is oh, oh. acrobatics and that forces out the Golisopod now but maybe if he gets to go into guard jump here and put up a sword stance that might be something yeah guard jump would have been the better choice yeah I mean it still depends on the set we have only seen stealth rocks so far if he's like a defensive or non setup guard jump, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's just looking hard. It's a little bit of a shame, in my opinion, just because we saw some cool mons like Grab Locked only for it to be critted yeah. <laughs> when it was potentially gonna do something against the slow bro. Yo, guys, I'm, I'm curious. Which battles do you more like to commentate or to watch? Um, Hone League Battles, or uh, what is it, Jodo League Battles? Well, what do you think is more amusing to see, to watch? I kind of want to hear uh, what SMO has to say. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. I, I think, I'm, I mean, a mix is good, I think, but I'm mostly interested in the Hone League ones more, I think. Hmm. Like, the, the Jodo ones are more in, unpredictable, but I, I like the... Uh, Oh, now you. I was so interested to see what, what, what you're going to oh, say. Oh, one foot on this is going. And. Oh, oh is, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If the Decidueye does not have Shadow Sneak, this is game. Shadow Sneak, this, this could is, be it. This could, this could be, be it. it. If it doesn't have Shadow Sneak. But he probably would run. If he brings sneak. it in right now, then it's Shadow Sneak. If not, it's GG. Yeah, GD. but even then, uh, KW has still the option to switch out here. Yeah, and he does. That's really yeah. wise. That's really yeah. wise. Yeah. Ooh, that was good. That was good. That was good. This. He might make a comeback. Yeah, because, he, because he every time he needs he gets, to go. He gets, like, if you can sex go to support, uh, Spectra just comes in and claims the Shadow Claw. I think Shadow Claw is still weaker than Earthquake. <laughs> Yeah, I think the double, I don't know. the double into Spectria would have been even better here. I think yeah. Shadow Claw and Earthquake are exactly as strong as each other, I think. Yeah, but... Because Shadow uh, Claw is Thinking about but it... Why is it yeah. What does Shadow Claw hit that Crunch doesn't? Um, yeah, good question. I mean, both hit Maybe the, the Decidueye. Maybe the Decidueye, I don't know. Not, they both hit Decidueye, so uh, I think you're right, SMO. Crunch would have been also... I guess Shadow Claw yeah. does neutral the Coco, but that's... And you even have the chance to drop the defense. That would be way better. Yep, that was the right play. Um, that he was also have, right play. He does like, have teleport, so he wasn't trapped after all against the grab block. Um, wait, how much did the aqua jet do to the glass car? I forgot. That was a lot. Yo, it was forty-one. Forty-one on a crit. Oh, it so was a crit. Fine. It was a crit. To be fair. All right. Oh, that was. 
Mm. Doesn't kill. Yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, oh. he's got roost. Yeah, just... I mean, he, he has sure? to switch into Spectria now. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think he's not from, I don't know. Oh, that was the crit he needed. Okay, so now this is gonna be another kill with Spectria? Yeah. And, and then this is comes back in. And basically his only uh, way to win this is like, if he somehow kills the Decidrui or kills the Slowbro. Um, I mean, he should have he should have doubled back to Spectria on the... Um, switch into Snowbro yeah. earlier, he was kind of forced to. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, now he just pretty much has to click Shadow Sneak again. I don't think this is a 50-50, yeah. but he might go just for U-turn even. Nah, he doesn't. And now it's a 50-50 pretty much between the switch back into Slowbro or him just staying in. But he can't, kinda can't stay in, honestly. He kinda can't. Now if he stays in, that's, that's like the stupidest thing ever. Yeah, he kind of. And now, if he wants to make it extra safe, he can. He can go into Rampart and Rampardos and sack it, and then go into Slowbro. I don't know. Or like, yeah. I mean, maybe I think Rampardos would actually. Be claw yeah, would... yeah. The switch into Rampardos is one hundred percent the play here and win. This is the win. Yeah. If he goes into Rampardos, then into. I mean, maybe it's no, the just it's, it's, Rampardos if the Gushin is sub. If the Garchomp is substitute and the Rampardo is not scarfed, this could be. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh. Yeah, he kind of has Ooh, to crit. Okay. He kind of has to crit Rampardos here, in order for him to have. Or a flinch yeah. with Dark Pulse. Or yeah. a flinch with Dark Pulse. That's the better chance. That are better odds actually. So yeah, he should go for the flinch here. I mean, actually. I'll strong. Is Rampardo strong on the special side? I don't know. Nice. Nah, it's well, but it's definitely... Rampardo's his only attack stat is attack. Oh, he goes for... He's like his only stat is attack. That is... Oh, okay. Oh, no! It does... Um... What's Garth... You I think he wins, right? Who wins? Uh... Uh, Caracasa. Yeah, Caracasa wins, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it is... Yeah, and that's... Scarfed. Yeah. I called it. <laughs> Yeah. GG. So that's that GG. Is... The boy Rampardos actually coming in clutch for Karakasal, but that was really interesting towards the end there with the Spectria after the P2 has be been beaten down. It was really, really getting close towards the end. So, who just left this call? So, yeah, congrats to Karakasa. GG, well played. That was a nice match. And also, congrats to uh, by the way, KW um, uh, for Karakasa. bringing absolute heat. Hey, I was gonna ask SMO about his Smash tournament. Actually, SMO went to a Smash tournament the other day. So, you wanna tell some story? Did you play anyone famous? Oh no, it, it's just a local. Uh, I go every week. But um, last, I mean, this week in particular did not go well for me. Uh, <laughs> normally, I go about two and two, but I, I felt like I was playing okay for most of the time, and then I. SD'd and I ended up in both of my sets, and so I ended up going 0-2 this week, unfortunately. Aww. Yo, SMO, you wanna play some Smash? I'm gonna destroy you, by the way. Uh, uh, I suppose so. I don't love online, but if you want. I kinda doubt that Prof is gonna destroy SMO, to be honest, just because Prof is a little bit of a spammer. <laughs> but yeah, you never know. Dude, yo, he is the fucking weakest, man, and I, yo, I played so much over the summer, it was like. Hast Not du das Video done. schon ausgemacht oder läuft's noch? No, no, das, the, the uh, recording is still running. Oh uh, shit. I, w I want everyone to know about SMO's Smash local tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So yeah, Karakasa, do you wanna say something about the match? You kinda got lucky there with the grab lock crit, huh? Yeah, that was lucky, but I don't think it mattered too much nah, because... it didn't, it didn't matter uh, in the end, but... Another brutal swing would have not taken me out and another psychic would have. And I kinda Ooh. let this one get too close because I was afraid to like do any plays. Like I knew what he was doing and I could have predicted that. Like obviously he goes into guard jump when I have uh, DC dry out. Like he has to do it in order to at least have a chance of winning. But I was too afraid to do it and my 
my Ramper does is just a safe play there because it doesn't get KO'd and uh, yeah, yeah. if he kills you with guard jump and snowboard swinge. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, would this, how how would the second brutal swing have not killed? Because you would have lost. You would have gone to minus two defense and then. Oh wait, does it lower my defense? Yeah. Yeah. It, turn, it, the grab lock lowers every turn. turn. Okay, then it would have. Then the crit merited indeed. Yes. Yeah. But um, I mean, yeah, it was also towards the end. There was one sequence where he could have made the double switch from slow uh, from Garchomp into Spectria, which I was thinking kind of had to do that to pressure you a little bit more because then he could have picked up another kill with the Spectria. But yeah, I mean, I st you still had one sec more. Yeah, and exactly. And I should have just quick recover on Porygon. I didn't have to risk. Uh, for the for the high roll shadow ball like I did, but I just wanted like to kill it. Like recover was was what should have been the best play anytime. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, if I click recover there, it's 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 finished anyway. But yeah. But yeah. With that being said, I'm gonna end this recording. Uh, thanks SMO and Prof for joining me, and we'll see you guys in another recording. <laughs>